Please, folks, welcome my own personal superhero, my good friend, Seth MacFarlane. There's, <laughs> thank you, Maria. It's good to know that Stella Artois packs such a kick. Thank you so much. There is nothing in the world that means more to me than receiving an award that I never heard of until six weeks ago. <laughs> I, uh, I want to thank all the other comics here uh, who have done an amazing job raising awareness about themselves. You guys have <laughs> come out here and just worked your B material for cancer and we can't appreciate, we can't appreciate it more than we do. Uh, no, seriously, no, these, these comics are here because they really, really care about getting cast in a pilot. And, and I would like to share this award with you guys. And in fact, when they give it to me, if you guys want to just have it, that's fine. I'll put it over on the snack table over there. And Joel, Chris, Alex, you can help yourself. Um, this will help. Seriously, there is some formidable comic talent here tonight. My friend, the great Bill Maher, who always comes through for me. Anthony Jeselnik, always hilarious. Nick Kroll. Chris Delia. Yeah, yeah, he was the guy with the beard. The long hair and the beard. One of the funniest comics I have seen in years. And I just want to say to those people who have watched his show and said, Jesus, who did he have to fuck to get that gig? Whitney Cummings. <laughs> he had to fuck Whitney Cummings. <laughs> um, <laughs> at what point does that get tacky to just have this leaning at an angle on the podium. It's worth mentioning uh, that in the spirit of what has happened to Daily Variety, I already went out and got this exact same award on the internet, um, <laughs> which makes this all sort of irrelevant, but still a fun curiosity. Um, now tonight is about supporting the mission of the Noreen Fraser Foundation. And a, that's where I thought there would be a plus. And a, uh, Gotta keep to the structure, folks. That's the only way this works for all of us. And a reminder... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a reminder that laughter is the second best medicine right behind... <laughs> right, right behind medicine. <laughs> Sorry, I like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, <clears throat> it's not even that funny, what? <laughs> this is, um, this is interesting for me because up until this point, I have worked uh, exclusively with, <clears throat> with men's cancers. Um, I always just felt more strongly about that cause. But then I realized it was because I resented the fact that as a man, it's difficult to break into the world of women's cancer. <laughs> and even if you do, you worry, oh, is this gonna make me look gay? Are they gonna call me Cancy Boy? You know, that kind of thing. So, thank you for inviting me into your super fucking clicky community. <laughs> I will try my best not to disappoint you. Um, <clears throat> I am, it's, it's so late, I'm like, <laughs> I am personally inspired by the Foundation's commitment to finding cutting-edge prevention and therapy for women's cancers, and I know what you're saying, Seth, when does Ted come out on DVD? Well, the joke was better than Joel did it six and a half hours ago. I don't see what the Ted DVD has to do with the research, detection, and management of this terrible disease. But if you must know, it's December 11th, also on Blu-ray.
<laughs> Please stop texting. I don't know what last comic standing is. I was actually... <laughs> I could be able to get through these jokes. <laughs> if this was earlier, but they kept handing me these things. Um, I was actually going to send a, a Native American man up here tonight to decline this award. <laughs> in protest of this nation's shameful treatment of our Native First Peoples, but the guy got totally shit-hammered and fucking pissed himself in the fucking limo like some kind of goddamn degenerate. So now I got to accept this. So, while I'm here, uh, I do want to take this opportunity to set the... I should probably look down at you guys and off the teleprompter occasionally, right? <laughs> I want to set the record straight and apologize for the Flintstones. I was asked about this again on the press line, and it is on hold, um, though I have three other shows that are also on hold just because I haven't had the time. Uh, over at CBS, I have The Amazing White Race, where... <laughs> where teams of white people <laughs> compete in physical challenges to win Breaking Bad DVDs. <laughs> white people really want me to watch that show. Um, <clears throat> words that Katy Perry thinks rhyme with firework. Each episode would be a different word like worth or burst. <laughs> Stuff that doesn't actually rhyme with firework. Um, and so you think you can dance, you fat fuck. Where we find aspiring dancers and give them very real long-term body issues over the course of a season. Now, if you're here tonight, it's because you understand that cancer can strike someone you know, your agent, your lawyer, even a person. And even though the foundation focuses on women's cancers, those do impact us all. If you're a man, it could strike your wife, your girlfriend. If you're, why is that funny? My father, folks. <laughs> if you're a gay guy, it could strike Margaret Cho or Kathy Griffin. All too often, cancer is a scary reality. For women right here in LA, they find themselves in the terrifying position of being told by their doctor, we have found a growth in your uterus. We have ruled out Ryan Phillippe as the father, so it must be cancer. <laughs> really? Are you friends of the Phillippe family? <laughs> Take that hat off, you're in fucking side. And... <laughs> It's going to take generous contributions to beat this disease. It will take the entire Hollywood community. We have got to pull out our checkbooks and pretend that cancer research is a black guy running for president. <laughs> oh, by the way, for those of you from, from out of town, breast cancer is different in Hollywood. If you find a lump, there are 15 people who want to take credit for discovering it. The more we know about cancer, the more we are armed for the battle. But what do we know about cancer? Well, we know that it eats away at healthy tissue throughout the body and then delivers that processed tissue by pneumatic tube directly to hell, where it is convert converted by Satan into a fine powder and transported back up to earth directly into the office of Ari Emanuel who adds water and uses it as the main ingredient of a special youth-preserving shake that also contains children's tears, puppy fetuses, and relief money for the victims of 9-11 families. Thanks to Variety, I added that joke in the car, so this is that's about all it deserves. Thank you to Variety as well for the evening. and. Um, I want this night to be an ins inspiration to kids everywhere. Uh, keep working and believing, and someday 
you too can receive an award from a failing periodical you feel sorry for. <laughs> oh my God, it's the fucking entertainment press. They're like, Jesus, fuck you. <laughs> it's good that Variety is doing this though. It's about time the entertainment press cleaned up its act because they have become increasingly cold and opportunistic, taking advantage of others' misfortunes for a story. Maria Menounos, I saw your piece on Extra, how to put together a cute outfit using what's left after Sandy. What the fuck? <laughs> shame on you and shame on Extra. The entertainment press really is going down the tubes. The Hollywood Reporter has a gossip section now and Entertainment Weekly has to constantly tell me how Family Guy sucks balls and how Two Broke Girls is amazing. Thanks, John. <laughs> but I digress from the focus of the evening. This award is actually only a few years old. And when I found out you guys gave the first year's award to Russell Brand, I thought to myself, now here is an organization. <laughs> that knows comedy. <laughs> I mean, realistically, <laughs> Realistically, for the first awards show, who in the comedy world do you have to pick from other than every single comedian ever? <laughs> so you could see why they decided not to go with a Steve Martin or Don Rickles. No, can we somehow honor the transvestite who starred in the Arthur remake? <laughs> Russell's a very close friend. I don't know Russell. Here's another interesting bit of trivia. Russell Brand and Amy Poehler uh, are the previous two award winners, and then both got divorced within a year of receiving it. So I'm starting to think if you keep this trophy in your house, it puts out like a vibe that makes you die alone. So I'm going to take mine and hide it in Nancy Grace's panic room just to see what happens. <laughs> all right. We're all, we're all very tired. So I. I humbly accept this award with the genuine hope that the Noreen Fraser Foundation is able to effect significant advancement in cancer research. And with, these, with the sincere belief that in the past 10 minutes I have Brett Ratnered myself out of the Oscars. Thank you very much. These jokes would have worked so much better if I had been holding this. We forgot to bring the award out.